Ryan, where in an investment portfolio are structured products best suited? So to answer that, I think, um, you know, different practitioners will use them in different ways. So certainly this is um, the ABSA, ABSA view, and that's not the sole view in the market. But if we just take a simple um, equity portfolio and deconstruct it into, let's say, something that is 80% local equity and 20% offshore equity. If we then split that sub-asset class and let's focus on the international equity um, piece and say, well, what is the, you know, what's the general trend in the, in the, in the investment space in, uh, globally is that active managers are under a lot of pressure to beat the benchmarks. And that is quite difficult to do when you add uh, active costs on top be it that they are coming down, they're still more expensive than your, your beta trackers. And the research shows that, you know, a very small portion of these active managers are able to outperform that, that benchmark beta. So any well-constructed uh, equity portfolio, balance portfolio, whatever you want to call it, but let's concentrate on the equity example, any well-constructed equity portfolio should be made up of an element of active, an element of beta, and we would argue an element of structured. So how we um, coach guys into getting uh, into structured products is to say, look at that component of your portfolio that is currently allocated to beta, because that's your core equity holding. Your active guys are surrounding that and doing their, um, their niche stuff so that they can try and generate some alpha and that's exactly what they're good at and should be paid to do. But your core market access should be coming from beta. Um, and let's just use a, a simple example. If your offshore equity index uh, or construct has an element of S&P 500 or MSCI world in it, then take, let's say that's, 20% or 10% of your 20% total in offshore. Well, take that 10 and divide it in two. So take 5% of that beta, that's 10%, and give it to uh, structured note issuance. And what that does is we think it gives you a different lever to pull in a market environment where your long only beta positions are not necessarily uh, performing. So in a flat or falling environment, if you have a structured product alongside your long only beta uh, allocations, either that structured product is coming to the, to the fore to protect that component while your long onlys are losing, or it could be an element of saying, well, even if the market has fallen slightly, that particular structured product is paying out a coupon. So it's complementary to your long beta positions and it comes to the fore when uh, markets are not supportive of what your long, uh, a positive performance from your long only positions.